what's up welcome to my channel today's video is going to be a holiday christmas makeup look we have that classic red lip and then the smoky shimmery eye it's really fun because we just kind of get ready together and chat um and then i also just show you how i do this makeup look but yeah if you want to keep watching this video i would greatly appreciate it give it a thumbs up i've missed doing makeup tutorials this is like the first actual tutorial i've done in forever so i hope you guys enjoy it and let me know if you want to see more okay so if you follow me at all then you probably know that i've had the worst luck with my face like base makeup since i started wearing like a full face of makeup and a mask so a lot of it did have to do with like the primers that i was using so i cannot use like an oil based type of primer like the milk makeup one so today we are going to go in with the oil and shine control primer from smashbox um i love smashbox primers and i used to have this i like it because it has like a silicone texture to it and so i'm just gonna put a little bit of this all over my face because it seems to work for me also because we're going to be bougie today i'm going to go in with a little bit of the silk canvas from tatcha partly because this is more of like a glam look so i feel like if you're going to go glam go all out but at the same time um i have had this tatcha stuff for over a year and i still have not used a lot of it because this year has been the year of not really using a lot of makeup so i'm gonna put a lot of that around like my t-zone area because i feel like i need to start using this stuff up if y'all hear trucks and stuff they are building houses near me and other things and these big like dump trucks keep driving by and it's so loud all day long probably hear dingling in the background that is my washer that just went off i got a new sponge finally it's very overdue and then the foundation i'm gonna use i'm back into it this is now like back to being my favorite like it used to be um is the born this way Too faced foundation i like it because it's like not a drugstore foundation but it's also um good quality and on the cheaper side we're just gonna you know do the usual blend this out and i like how like a little bit does go a long way and it is medium to full coverage i like to do it more on the full coverage side okay i'm not really a fan of how my hair looks you can't even really see that i have a ponytail and a huge scrunchie in the back but i feel like i just need it out of my face and this was the easiest option um so i blended that out and now i'm gonna go in with concealer my skin has not been the best lately because i got in the tanning bed i've talked about that in so many videos and now it's kind of like peeling you can see like some of the peel coming off over here we just had like a little moment with it and it's just everywhere and then my skin hasn't really been breaking out i do have a little breakout over here but it just i don't know something's going on and this is the elf sponge um this is probably my favorite sponge i wish they had this like texture and more shapes with elf which they may i don't know it is just literally the softest sponge it feels like a little cloud so i look so pale right now but before i go in with like bronzer and even powder and stuff i'm gonna use a little bit of this rare beauty happy shade of the um liquid blush it's so pretty it's like my favorite thing ever and it looks really pretty with bb cream or anything um, a little does go a long way and when they say that they mean it this is honestly probably way too much but we will dim it down once we put on like the highlight and the bronzer and all that stuff so i just like to take it either with a brush or a sponge we're gonna do a brush first and then i think i'm gonna go in over it with the, that sponge um you can see i've been using this and i like to use a sponge just because like with everything i feel like a sponge just works better kind of gives you clown vibes at first um, just because it is so bright and I am so pale, but it will go down. Just make sure you don't put on like your powder and all that stuff first or it will look bad. I made that mistake last week and um, don't put a liquid over a powder. Now my dog has chosen to start eating her food. She's a very loud eater, so if you hear noises, that's what that is. Um, but before we even set our face, I'm going to go ahead and go in with some bronzer. This is the Hula bronzer from Benefit. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that in going up with that blush. We're gonna um, do the sides of the nose because I just feel like you can't even see my nose with how pale it is. My dog is just chomping. Now she's drinking. And I like to do like all the bronzer and stuff first lately because I can go back over when I put on my powder to set everything and like kind of shape up a little bit. Um, because I don't want to risk anything right now, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I know a lot of this you're seeing is like stuff that I always do 
but that's because it works and it's good stuff you guys know like i don't really bake or any of that stuff like i've never really been into that um i try i go through phases where I really want to do that because maybe it works but at the same time I just like to take a good amount of powder as I'm applying it I'm just kind of like pressing it into the skin at the same time and then eventually I will just like sweep it away I already kind of did that on this side so I'm gonna like apply it down here or actually kind of just putting powder everywhere because my face has been coming apart lately and you can see already like that blush has like died down but it's still so pretty and also if you use it with like a BB cream it's just so pretty on everybody and um i am gonna go back in with a different like pretty blush in a little bit but we're gonna go do our eyebrows off camera and then i'm gonna start on thighs which is like the most fun part so i feel like i look a little rough right now but once the process comes together it comes together so just trust the process um but i feel like for the eyes today i want to do something like subtle glam but like really sparkly and so the thing that i thought of to do for my sparkly shade it's so pretty and so affordable is ladybird it's a super shock super shock shadow ultra glitter from ColourPop. it's five six seven eight or dollars or so or something like that um and so i'm kind of going like out of order of what i would normally do but okay so i primed my eyes with some p louise base and then i'm just gonna take this super shock shadow super hard to say fast um and kind of just put it all over the lid i think it's just such a pretty color and it's so sparkly and we're gonna we're gonna make it work in a minute it's, it's gonna look a little crazy at first but once it all comes together it's gonna come together so normally i start in the crease first but today we're gonna just be wild and put this all over the lid and then i think i'm gonna go into the shade lash line which is like really pretty it's like right here in the center it's kind of dark but I think I'm going to take a very light amount of this and put it into my crease. And I'm just going to kind of dust that around like a little bit, like the smallest amount of product possible. And then put a little bit of the rest over here because I don't want it to be too much. I'm going to take this other brush that has nothing on it and try and blend those together. Because I really don't want to take away from all the shimmer and shine that we have going on. But I really want to kind of deepen the crease just a tad. And so you just keep blending until you just can't blend no more. And I'm kind of blending up into the brow bone area. Like when you use one brush to put on the dark shade and then use another brush to blend it out, it keeps it from getting to be too harsh, I feel like. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm applying like small to decent amount with this brush. And then I'm going back in with this other brush and like blending that out. And I wanted to deepen the crease, but I also wanted it to be sparkly. So that's why I put on that first shimmer shade first. That sentence made no sense, but you know what I mean. I feel like the main part of this look is going to be the lips when we get to that. But also the wing liner, because this is such a simple eye. I wanted to do like kind of a dramatic wing. So this is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Liner love this stuff it's so affordable it's so good and it stays on all day like i wear this at disney world disney world and the rest of my makeup was kind of falling apart but this stuff was on and i'm really bad at doing liner on camera so just bear with me it's a very dramatic wing um but once i have on lashes i feel like it's gonna look a lot more normal and i really wanted it to be like all the way across i'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes i feel like i look like something from like star wars or something like even with the turtleneck and the hair pulled back um i don't know what because i don't know star wars but i have i just feel like i could go onto like some kind of spaceship in a faraway galaxy right now but truly guys like that liner is so good and now i'm gonna go in with another drugstore liner that i love um it is the nyx jumbo eye pencil and this is in black bean it's super good and it does last a very long time and I'm very picky about my liners. I would have used the Wet n Wild one too that I have like this, but I couldn't find it. It's somewhere in my drawer. And actually after this, I'm going to be filming like an organize my makeup <laughs> section with me in my bathroom. So that's going to be really fun to film. And I have this mini version of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I love. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this, even though I am going to apply fake lashes as well okay before i finish the eyes and put like the lashes on i'm gonna finish i think the rest of my face and i'm gonna start with something that makes me think of holiday season every time i look at it because they always come out with like the best holiday products it's the hourglass um ambient incandescent strobe light powder it's so pretty i have like the three 
um, pack, whatever you want to call it, of this. But it just looks like, I don't know. It's so pretty. And it makes you have, like, this shimmery glow. Also, another thing I thought of, um, or I found the other day that I used to love is the Laura Mercier powder highlight. It's so pretty. Um, it's, like, in the shade Highlight 01 or something. And I got it for free for, like, a Sephora purchase. And I used every bit of it. So, next time I go to Sephora... I think I'm going to see if they still have it because it was a couple years ago, but I've still been using it. But you can see like the difference in this side and this side. This side's just super dull. Um, and this side has like some volume. So I always, volume, I don't even know what I'm saying. Sometimes I start talking when I'm filming and then I just forget where my sentence is going. Um, but I like to put it on like the apples of my cheeks. I can see powder like going up. But last night when I was trying to open this, um, I broke a nail. So that's why I have like really badly painted nails right now. But I'm gonna go into the Wet n Wild Hello Halo blush lighter. I love their blush lighters. They did send them to me a couple months ago. Um, I haven't used this one. This one is in um, Flash Me and it's kind of like deeper, but you can see this highlight is so pretty. It's kind of like a berry tone. I don't even know if it's focused, but it's so pretty. Um, and so we're going to go in, I said highlight, I meant the blush, just a brush and go into that blush. And it's so pretty because I love a good berry and it's also like super shimmery, which is very holiday. And I'm going to use like a good amount, but I'm not going to use the highlight because I have a different highlight that's a little bit lighter. I feel like this is like made for like a deeper skin tone like the highlight is. Um, but the blush is just so pretty. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Cookie by Benefit highlighter. And so I'm just going to put this a little bit up here. I haven't even sprayed my face yet, which I probably should have. And I'm also going to take this and put this on the inner corner this on the brow bone which I barely have because um, I went high up and then also my brows are like extremely hairy at the moment and then I'm also going to go into the Ardell wispy lashes um, I bought like a five pack of them and I really do love them because they're not like crazy dramatic and I don't like wearing a super heavy lash my favorite are the get glammed beauty lashes it's like a smaller brand but they are like really amazing I just need to buy some more um, but I like wearing more subtle lashes because I do kind of have long-ish lashes, but also I just um, don't like anything heavy on my eyes because I feel like I literally can't see when I wear heavy lashes. And then I also have this two-in-one uh, brush on by Duo. So you have the black side and then you have the white, which the white is supposed to be clear. Um, I'm going to go in the darker tone because we do have a wing liner. And sometimes I feel like with white... Uh, lash glue you can see it and it drives me insane another thing i like about these uh is they have like a really thin band so i'm just gonna let that dry for like a hot second okay lashes are on and they went on a little bit too easy so i'm a little nervous that they're gonna come off because they like went right in the right place and just obeyed me which is very interesting i'm gonna kind of smoke out the bottom lash line a little bit and i'm gonna use that same lash line color that i have in the crease and I'm just gonna apply that super close to the waterline just because it looks a little naked down here this brush, brush right here is from like my naked three palette that I got probably like eight years ago or longer and I still use this brush like every time I do my makeup I'm gonna take that NYX eyeliner and put that on the bottom waterline I've just always like even since like middle school I know we talk about like black liner shouldn't be a thing um or like a lot of people do i love black liner and i always put dark liner on my top waterline no matter what because i feel like it makes your lashes look better i've always said that and um i like the look of it on the bottom too especially when you're doing a smoky look i feel like you have to do like a red lip for like the holidays you know christmas like it's just classic and we have a couple options so first i got this yesterday actually it is the kylie cosmetics uh matte lip emboss it's part of like ulta's uh black friday deals it was ten dollars it's so pretty this is like my favorite kind of red because it's got like kind of like a blue tone to it and this guy i used last year it's the kylie cosmetics mary joe 
Okay, um, lipstick. This one I feel like is a little bit dried out, so I don't think we're going to use that one. Um, I love that color, though. And then also, this is by the brand Farah. It's a matte boss liquid lip pigment, um, and it's super pretty, and it's from the brand Farah in my Ipsy box, and it's so pretty. But the kicker is that, like, I don't have... A lip liner um, because my red lip liner is in my storage unit with the rest of my makeup so I'm gonna try and like line my lips as I'm putting on lipstick so we're gonna start with the boss by Kylie cosmetics and then I might go over with the other so pretty so pretty I take like the tip and line my lip I forgot what I look like in red lipstick. Um, so this is a, look, a lot to take in. <laughs> but I think I am going to top it with this stuff. Because I did kind of test this out last night. Just kind of seeing what the texture and stuff was like. So I'm going to take a little bit of this on top. Because it gives it kind of like a wet look. Look at that. I look like a vampire. I kind of do look like a vampire because I'm very pale. I am going to take a little bit more bronzer and just kind of bronze up down here. Lipstick makes me look even more pale than I already am. Okay, I took my hair down and we're pretty much done. But I think the last thing I want to try, just because I love gloss, I want to put on some gloss, even though I don't think we need it at all. But this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Moon Jelly. This was also in my Ipsy box and I've just really been wanting to do it because it's like white, but it has like little sparkles in it. Ooh. Ooh. It's, uh, I don't think I wanted to do that. Oh, wait. Okay, it kind of has like a purple hue to it, so it's a lot. I don't think it's as bad as I thought it was going to be, but at first it looked kind of like the incandescent, like, strobe lighting. Like, this takes me back to, like, 2000s MAC Cosmetics, just because, of, like, how shimmery the eyes are. And I get it, like, I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I have missed doing makeup. I love doing makeup. I think it's so fun, um, especially like holiday season. And I cannot wait. Hopefully next year we are going to be back to uh, where we can actually, you know, get ready to go places and feel fabulous. But if this year, just feel fabulous for yourself. You know, I'm getting dressed right now to go sit in my house. So if I can do it, you can do it too. And so, yeah, I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Let me know what you want to see next. And thank you so much for watching. Ooh, okay. I look a little rough and scary right now, so I do apologize. But guys, I decided that I'm going to do my Christmas giveaways a little bit different this year. And so if you're watching this video, you're going to be the first to know about it and you're going to know how it's going to go down. But today is going to be the first of my Christmas giveaways. And what I'm going to do is instead of doing 12 days of Christmas giveaways or five days, whatever, I'm going to be spreading them out throughout the various videos that are coming up in the month of December. I know this video is technically going up in November, but um, it may not be every single video coming up, but in most of my videos throughout the month of December, they are going to include some type of giveaway. I decided I'm going to do smaller giveaways so that way I can reach more people this year. I'm so thankful for all of you and the opportunities you've given me through YouTube and how far I've been able to grow literally because of you. So I'm going to show you what today's first giveaway is. So one of the items is going to be the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. If you watched my um, gift guide video the other day, the pinky purple makeup look, it was using this palette right here. It's so beautiful. You can create so many neutral looks and so many colorful looks. And then I'm also going to include a Kylie Cosmetics pressed illuminating powder it's like a highlighter and this is in princess please it's like a light pink shimmery color i don't want to open it because i don't want to get it nasty also ignore my nails they are bad but all you have to do to enter is going to be all in the description box down below i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoy like this type of giveaway um thing i know a lot of people come to my channel just for the giveaways but this is literally for people just supporting me i'm very very thankful and um yeah literally all the details will be below and this is international so so thank you so much and um, please subscribe and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!